Everyone's coming to the Cortez Fishing Festival today. Look at this crowd. Just a gorgeous day in the Bradenton area. We are just north of Tidy Island, adjacent to Anna Maria. For $3, you can have a fun day here in the historic village of Cortez. There'll be fishing exhibits, lots of free food, and a chance to meet your neighbors. And one nice feature of the festival is that it gives a chance for local artists in the Anna Maria, Tidy Island, and Cortez area to display their crafts. And here we are outside the food area at the Cortez Seafood Festival. I would estimate there's probably at least 20 different seafood restaurants and booths selling fresh seafood. All of it is fresh, all of it is delicious, and all of it is part of your quintessential experience here at the Cortez Seafood Festival. Check out the food. There's got to be something going on here. Okay, they got paella, coconut shrimp, and a seafood medley. Whoa, I might have to get in line. Portions are big too. What is that? Looks great. Music is a big deal here at the festival. They have blues, country, and pop. And this is a popular spot here, the local Bud Light booth. And this festival sure is a popular place. Standing room only now. The good tables that bring your food have already gone. the rum in those coconuts. This is an authentic experience here at Cortez. Fresh coconuts are cut open and rum and fruit juice are poured into it. Let's see how they make the coconuts. Tell me what kind of rum. Okay, so these are the coconuts and there's the rum. booth for the super grouper sandwich. Most of the stuff is fried. I'm sure your cholesterol will pay the price. No, 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 Jack. Pirate for no, no. You get a picture with a, with a pirate and a parrot. What are you Don't doing? Be doing be so Hello. Pretty bird. Gotta remember, this really is a working historical fishing village. Look at all these boats. Right here is a dock that loads seafood. And look at this authentic fish market. It doesn't get fresher than this. And we're walking along a dock where the local fishermen drop their fish off to be sold and shipped all over the world. What's this exhibit here? Here's a woman telling us all about the fishing industry here in Cortez. Look at that big trigger fish and the red snapper. Now this is the aquarium and scenic exhibit vista. There's a turtle watch, and there's also an Anna Maria Sail and Power Squadron exhibit. Aquarium touch tank exhibit. It looks like kids are going to be able to find out what it's like to get close to marine life. Oh, no. <laughs> this definitely is a real working fishing village. Look at these traps. Look 
at all these beautiful pastries here. They bake them themselves. I'm gonna have a fried Oreo. All right, five chickens. What's your name? Fried Oreos are absolutely delicious. Highly recommend it. Get yourself an order. So if you find yourself on Florida's west coast, come on down, man, and let Cortez be your host. You can call all your friends and tell them what they miss. Get here quick, man. We cooking at the kitchen. There's a guy talking about the history of the Cortez Fishing Village. Let's pay attention. Things have changed. I said this is one of the last remaining uh, historic fishing villages. Uh, in the 1990s, a constitutional uh, amendment was passed that bans. Now they can only use hand-thrown cast nets. Feel the wind. Look at the palm trees. Hear the music. Enjoy everything about this festival. It's an original.